Hello class! Today we're going to review our syllable rules. Now I don't need you to memorize these rules, but I want us to be able to take a word, a long word, and not get overwhelmed by it and say, wait a minute, I can make this word shorter and here's why. So you don't be, need to be able to tell me the rule, there's five of them, but you need to be able to take a word and tell me where to divide it. So that's what we're gonna do today. On my board, I have our five rules. We're gonna review them, then I'm going to show you a word, and you are going to guess one, two, three, four, or five is why we divide it at a certain place. And then let's see how you do when I tell you the answer. Here we go. You can divide a long word between two consonants that are the same. You can divide a long word between a vowel and a consonant. Now, if you do that, then the vowel at the end of the syllable is usually long. Number three, you can divide a long word between two consonants that are not the same. So you can divide between two consonants that are the same, two consonants that are not the same, and between a vowel and a consonant. Remember, these are long words. You can divide a long word between a root word and a suffix if the suffix starts with a vowel sound, like e eh or i, eh, for example. And number five, a long word may be divided between a prefix and a root word. All right, so like I said, I don't need you to memorize those, but keep those in your mind and see if you can figure out why we divide a word at a certain place. Reason one, reason two, reason three, reason four, or reason five. Okay, my first word is button. I'll show it to you. Button. Where would I divide it? Why? Okay, it has a double consonant. B-U-T-T-O-N, and that goes with rule one. Rule one, you can divide words between double consonants. Okay, the next word, cabin. Cabin. Where would I divide it? Listen, cab, cab, in. I will divide it between the B and the I because you can divide between a vowel and a consonant. That's rule two. It's very important that you not divide it between the A and the B, however, because if we divided it here, remember, then the vowel would be long and it would be cabin, but it's cabin, so we need to keep this vowel short. So we would divide it here, cabin. So I had said that if you divide it between a vowel and a consonant, then the vowel at the end is long. Well, usually long. And in this situation, we want to make sure that we don't have a vowel at the end. Okay, the next one. Candy, candy. Where does this one go? Okay, this one we would divide between the vowel and the consonant. Again, rule number two, divide between, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, I misspoke. You would divide between the double consonants. It's actually important that you do not divide between the vowel and the consonant because then we would have the situation where the A would be long and it would be candy. So we actually want to make sure we divide it between the two consonants, which is uh, number three, between two consonants that are not alike. Number three. Okay, let's see what the next one is. Fuzzy, what one was that? That was rule number one. Divide between two consonants that are the same. Okay, next one. Away. Away. Rule number five. 
divide between a prefix and a suffix. A prefix comes before the root word. Rule one, dinner between double consonants. Din, er, dinner. Pilot. This is a situation where you divide it between the vowel and the consonant and the consonant at the end of the syllable is long. That's what makes our I long. Pilot. Number two. Okay. Number. Num whoop. Number between two consonants that are not the same. Number three between two consonants that are not the same. Faster, faster. Okay, here you have a root word and the suffix starts with a vowel. So number four, divide it between a root word and a suffix if the suffix starts with a vowel, like er in bigger. Be long. B, long, B is the prefix, long is the root word, number five, B, long. Summer, summer, double consonants. And that's gonna be our last one, rule number one, summer. We'll end with summer. We're getting close to summer, aren't we? So, I have good news for you. Today, you get to pick which page you do. You only need to do one, either letters and sounds or language. You can do both if you want, but you pick if you do the letters and sounds page for today or if you do the language page for today. Do your best, take a picture, and send it to me. Bye-bye.